Now we're going to talk about high key color. High key is when a color contains a range of light values. So if you have a high key or a high value in your painting, that means you have a lot of bright light areas. High key color describes the set of colors that range from mid-tone hues to white. Here are some examples. Here is high key colors. I have bright pure color with a little bit of white added to the color, but the colors are mostly bright and light. Here's another high key color painting where you add just bits of white to your color occasionally, but mostly the color is pure. This is when the color is pure or when you add white to it. Low key colors. They contain a range of dark value colors. Low key ranges from mid-tone to black. So these are low key colors. I've included darks and I've added black and grays to my color. So these are low key paintings. This is also a low key painting because there's almost no white added to the color. Mostly dark is added to the color. So this is a summary of high key and low key. Now it's your turn. Choose one of the two. Create a high key like this one or a low key painting like this one. Don't forget to do your sketch before you get started. That's it for now. We'll see you in the next section. High Key, Low Key by Doris Charest. Here we're going to look at a few sketches and or mini paintings that talk about high key and low key. So what we're going to start with is tertiary colors. So here are the tertiary color samples and they're very low key as compared to primary colors that are very high key, just like this one. So look at the difference. Here we have secondary colors that are sort of in between. They're in between low key and high key. High key is when the colors are closer to primary colors Low key is when they're low, uh, further away from the primary colors. They have been blended more. So here are some more samples. Secondary colors, see how more low key they are? They're more blended colors. So low key is when you add other colors to your primary colors and you and or you add blacks or you add reds. So here's another example, primary colors right here, secondary colors right here, more blended, more low key. And now we have the tertiary colors that are even more low key, they're less blended. And that's all there is to high key and low key. The closer you are to primary colors, the higher the key. The, low, the more mixed the color is, usually the more low key it is. So it can be mixed with other colors or it can be mixed with black and white. Again, here's the primary colors. And so these are high key. Secondary colors a little bit more low key because they're mixed. And again, tertiary colors, they're mixed even more. So they're more low key than secondary colors. So the primary colors are the high key colors. The mixed colors are the low key colors. And that's all there is to it. So we'll see you in the next section.